So far, the worst thing I've found about this stream is these uh, emoticons that they have of each character on the top of, like, right next to the name. Look at that Yoshi. Is that a, is that a No, that's Ultimate. Yoshi? That's Ultimate Yoshi, and no, no one appreciates that. I can tell you that right now, Tomathan. This is... Eight uh, yeah. Oh, all right. Let's see what uh, Spongy can get off that. Oh, perfect man to upload. Oh, Spongy came here to smack Yeah, Spongy, him. he doesn't look like he's joking around. Wait, is that Spongy or Robert? That's Spongy. Oh, uh, kind of looks like Robert. <laughs> I, I do not see it. Really? Nah, I guess I... I... That's Robert's older brother. Oh, the walk-off. Uh, that was a stock. That was great. Right, he so knew he was going to buffer shield when he got up, so he walked. Stock for stock. Uh, it has problems. What was it for? The only problem I have is how bad this venue is for shine. Oh wait, I shouldn't be bubble sizing that. <laughs> Are we gonna get paid for commentary? <laughs> <laughs> you think? I hope so. I'm doing hard work. <laughs> I don't think 64 has received anything good from shine itself <laughs> <laughs> what about what about the awesome turnout that's pretty good would turnout put aside every other game brawlhalla brawlhalla got a stage brawlhalla has like so much more than us All right, I, I know we're watching them play uh, Smash, but who do you think's gonna win a fight with me? <laughs> <laughs> That's the serious I question. Don't go with, I think Hotline. Hotline's <laughs> looking kind of big. I think it's from all of the like the button pressing or something. Yeah, I don't know, but it looks like. No, if you to double jump cancel like that, imagine what his thumbs look like. Yeah, he's yeah, been doing yeah, this for years. He's got the neck beard too. He <laughs> What that is the man <laughs> of this meme. I can't see it on the camera. <laughs> oh, that was good. Hotline. Hotline looks like he's troubled. Oh, I'm good. pretty sure in their uh, local scene, Spongy is the most dominant player. Even over Fire Blaster. No. I believe so. Really? I, I asked uh, Hotline before, and Hotline said Spongy's like, most likely to win out of everybody there. Wow, I've never seen an up there that like a, that since Koro <laughs> That was a very fast up there. Oh. There's no Pikas yet. We've had two matches of top eight, no Pikas yet. See, this is uh, this is genuine smash. This isn't top <laughs> player smash, you know. After I snorted that bug spray, my nasal cavities are really messed up. All right, that's game one. So this area... Tommy uh, mentioned this to me on the way here. Is you you explain it with the mosquitoes and the E E E virus? All right. So basically, a Maryland state official spoke on terms of the state of Massachusetts and commented on a Twitter thread and verbatim, I quote: "If you go to Shine 2019, you better come strapped with bug spray." Okay. Because okay. They're in the last pool testing of mosquitoes in the area at which Shine resides at this year. There has been tested positive for triple E virus with the mosquitoes. And if you get bit by one of these mosquitoes carrying triple E and isn't are infected with triple E, you have a 30% chance of dying. And if not death, you will be having permanent physical brain damage for the rest of your life. You will never be able to think straight again. Honestly, I'd rather be the three people that died <laughs> than have the permanent brain damage. If you do survive, your life is shortened and you will have disabilities for the rest of your life. And that's it's a short. It's, it's horrible. Oh, that was, that was a very good out there. You read the jump. So basically, yeah, that, that's basically Shine 2019 and. Uh, and not show. And not only that, the venue is no longer this massive, bright, beautiful, beautiful place right on Elegant. the Boston Harbor. I felt like Elegant. a scholar. I, exactly. I felt like I didn't belong. I, f I f honestly felt pride for the first time in my life playing this video game at the Shine 2017 and 16 venue. 
But they right took that the away Boston from Boston Harbor. They robbed the crab cakes right from my mouth. We could have went the Yankee Lobster again. Yes. But not Wagamama. Wagamama wasn't good. I'm pretty sure we're now capped at 7,000 viewers. Was it 7,000? Uh, th that's before the break. We might be hitting 15,000 now that we're at top eight. <coughs> Sorry, I see he acting up. All right, give us a few mosquitoes to take care of me. So spongy. Who's winning in a fight? A hundred Koro sized ducks or one duck sized Koro? I'm gonna go a hundred Koro sized ducks. <laughs> <laughs> would you disagree? <laughs> I feel like if you asked me the same question with your name, I would say a hundred Tommy sized ducks. It doesn't matter no, who the person uh, no, is. No, it matters because Koro has an extensive background in Jiu Jitsu. Is that true? Yes. Not only is are he we where Koro? Are we talking about the same Koro, Yoshi? Koro Baniki, Yes. Okay. He is a jin j wait. What master? A karate master. A extensive background in jujitsu. He's in been jiu practicing and indulging for I, I remember him saying seven years, but it's a brown belt, double okay. brown belt actually. But so not you're only is he he's be not only is he familiar with fighting, but he also raised ducks growing up. So he's also so he's familiar, familiar <laughs> with ducks. <laughs> he's familiar with the mallards. Yeah, so you cannot be throwing out any name in this situation. Koro is the precise person we have to be discussing. Okay. So does that change your answer? One duck-sized Koro. <laughs> Wait, I thought it was 100 duck-sized Koros. 100 duck-sized Koros or one Koro-sized <laughs> <laughs> But, yeah, I'm going with the one Koro the size of a duck. Wait, no, you switched it up. Wait, I, I can't have a hundred... All right, a hundred Koros... It's a, but they're the size of a duck, where one duck, that's the size of a Koro. <laughs> yeah. Is that what you asked? I don't remember. <laughs> I think it's more fair if we have a hundred Koros the size of a duck. No, a hundred ducks the size of Koro, and one Koro the size of a duck. Yeah. Because ducks are stupid. And he's familiar with ducks. <laughs> he's, but this duck is not ordinary. It's Koro size. Yes. But there's a hundred of the Koro size ducks. <laughs> By the way, Spongy is now up 2 0 in the set. Up 2 0. He has a 20% lead. I think I've strep throat. If anybody cares, I don't like to send medicine to my head. Oh, look how fast. I'm. Oh my gosh. Hotline shows he knows what he's doing here. What's our view again? Uh, uh, 94. Alright, so 94 people should be Venmoing at Tommy Speciality <laughs> for this. <laughs> for this beautiful commentary. Oh my gosh, I can't uh, very believe how big his brain is. Hotline whips out the good down bees, I will give him that. Friendly, he was hitting me non stop. He's taking the lead for maybe the first time in the set. First time in the set, yeah, definitely. All right, we may have to change it. One hotline sized Yoshi or 200 Yoshi sized hotlines? Yoshi's a big guy, isn't he? <laughs> I can't imagine that being a, a good thing on yeah, him. But, but imagine dinosaurs, those things fight. I would, I would rather myself not be in this situation. Is that an answer? I uh, would, I would you rather fight. One dinosaur the size of Hotline, okay. or one Hotline the size of a dinosaur. <laughs> a dinosaur the size of Hotline. Oh, yeah, what? but uh, you don't know how strong dinosaurs are for their size. I mean, Hotline's a pretty big dude. Too. It's gonna, it's gonna be a Velociraptor. Or a uh, uh, Velociraptor? Yeah, I can't. I'm not good with my dinosaur pronunciation. But you are good with your geography. If I'm not mistaken, what is second in the job? Second in geography in seventh grade of Washington Middle School. As it now stands, the most impressive accomplishment in our friend group, and everyone <laughs> aspires to be as successful as that. It's true. It's very true. We bring it up every time we go somewhere. Oh, that was good. And I'm pretty sure for. how many free meals have we gotten from telling the waitress that? Uh, are we on three or are we st or are hitting on four? I thought we were up maybe up to well, five. I think it's upwards of like five, six now. 
Because I've done it a few times. Oh, I wasn't there. even there. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard stories of you doing it before, and yeah. I didn't believe it for myself. All right, well, this one could be the set right here. But he misses Let's it. Let's see. At what percent does uh, Nair start to break Yoshi's armor? Probably now or if it's not stale. But he's dead right now, GG's. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, that could be the star something. Why you should have up aired? I thought he was going to F air. That's me being the better playing coward. Oh, why wouldn't you Nair again? Uh, and oh, and now you're dead? No, that would have died. Oh, oh. Fair. There we go. Nair. Fair. Oh, oh, smash. There we go. Smash. I, I would have lost for that. <clears throat> All right, let's see if Hotline could run a 3-2 uh, comeback. That'd be hard to do. Oh. Oh, no. Look who's back, Tommy. Two. No. <laughs> no. I thought they kicked this guy out of the venue. Is that Kevin? Three, two, Wait a minute. One, That's definitely he Kevin. He came back with a disguise. He came back with a costume on. We gotta get him out of here. I'll be right back. Yo, get the, get security. And that's a stock. Whoa, my gosh. He's just... All right, now that's a stock. All right. But... Sponge Hotline a missing. little too eager. He's maybe thinking he's coming off that win. Mike, you want to update? Very good. Hotline not looking too good. <laughs> Who wrote that? <laughs> Jeff. Oh! Uh, all right, now on a real note, okay? No more jokes. Who's not like who's who's winning a fight? Like real life fight. A real life fight. A duck size shears or two duck size brodies. A duck size shears. Oh no, a shears. A duck the size of shears. I meant to say my duck the size of shears or two brodies. Duck size brodies. I give any mammal the win over the brodies. <laughs> over the the geese. Or is that Brody's? Yeah. <laughs> I'm changing it up. This game went by really fast. A minute and a half in. Oh, that was good. Well, Hotline ran it back two stocks. He lost two stocks very quickly, and it was uh, just an even game. Uh. Uh. Oh, that's it. Oh. All right, even. This could be this could be the push to a game five. This most certainly can be a push to game five. Oh, walk him off. Jabs, jabs. Why you? Oh. You shouldn't have pushed the push ledge like that. I was eager. Arr! Sorry. You gotta see who moves their mouth more. Whoever moves their mouth more is obviously the better player. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Mm. That, those are dangerous approaches by Howard. And oh my gosh, I've never that's seen something top. bigger. I've never seen in my life something better than that. Immediate parry, down drill, up tilt, up <coughs> push of game five. How clutch is this man? That was incredible. All right, let's see if Hotline can continue on this rampage. What do you think Pika's mouth do? What? Look at Pikachu. What that mouth do? Tommy, you and I both know damn well what that mouth does. Is Ness giving a little smirk over there? Look at Jigglypuff, too. Oh. Practically Jiggly begging for it. DSLs. Look, Pikachu's blushing already, too. Pikachu is blushing. Game five, Connecticut boys playing Connecticut stuff. Three, two, one, go! Oh, you know what? Actually, someone just had brought to my attention. I have to revoke one of my remarks regarding our statements of bragging and of, of accomplishment. S second in the seventh grade geography B does not, and I cannot emphasize this enough, does not outvalue number one pie day who got number one pie day daniel mozan daniel remembered Mo thousands of digits of pie thousands upon the night 
of while playing Xbox and solving Rubik's Cubes. Daniel Moles on widely known as D Moles. Widely knows as I'm not the sure. man who beat Bart Sanchez in the crew battle without losing more than a stop. Tommy, I think we're missing the entire idea of commentating. We got to oh. start talking about the ducks. Oh, fine. And you're right. You're the right. They're going to take our check. Um, this is, oh my gosh. Hotline, hotline really running up. <laughs> running away with this. This is serious. I'm really tired. This is an even game. Not really. Kind of. I think I like how you realize we haven't spoken in a while, so you just say, This is an even game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to, uh, work the stream on my side. Would you like to talk about controversial issues? I feel like that's a subject that they. You want to bring me some food? Yeah, yeah we, we need it. Yeah, something expensive. Water bottles here cost four bucks. How do we feel about, um... What, what, what would you like to discuss? Uh... Anything besides the match. Anything besides Smash. Well, it's an even game right now, actually. Uh, it's, it's talking a, about Smash. Last game. Honestly, I think we should complicate the last Oh, that was risky. Could have got caught before that. Cycle continues. It's a good man. That's a stock. Spongy may run away with this. I don't know. Hotline, very, very fast with stocks. So Does he have a jump? Yeah. Oh. This is close, people. That was disgustingly dangerous. Oh, oh I thought Spongebob had an up tilt right there. He did have an up tilt, just didn't do it. Let's see if Spongebob can game. close it out. Is that, he has no jump? Oh, yeah. That's game. All right, well, GG's to Spongebob and Hotline. Congrats to Hotline for making top eight at Shine 2019.